Hey everyone, David here with TND Sports Cards. I'd like to welcome you back to our next new video. And in today's installment, we are going to open some packs from 1980, Topps baseball cards. And we will be looking for Ricky Henderson's rookie card. Wouldn't that be sweet to find one of those? Uh, we will also be looking for lots of stars and Hall of Famers. I know um, Nolan Ryan's got a really awesome card in this set, so uh, it'd be pretty cool to find one of his. But along with uh, the, like I said, many other Hall of Famers and stars, um, there's plenty of stuff uh, we could potentially find in here. But uh, as I mentioned, the uh, Ricky Henderson is the big card that we are hoping to find here. So uh, without further ado, let's get into these and... See what we can find. So this was the design. The uh, the big game was play hit to win. Um, they usually had some kind of a uh, sweepstakes or whatever that you could send stuff in to, uh, to either win stuff or, you know, just to, you know, you could buy things too, like with the, the locker things that I've mentioned before. And I always like the design on these cards too, and the gum's destroyed. And... Um, by the way, I wanted to mention that uh, the last video we did, the um, or at least this past Tuesday, we had we opened the basketball packs from '79, and I actually tried the gum after the video, and the gum was really good. I was surprised. Uh, usually, the stuff that's old has like a very moldy taste to it, but that did not. It didn't hold up. It pretty much disintegrated, but it still tasted pretty good. So, for you gum aficionados out there, I wanted to just um, let you know uh, that I had done that. Anyway, all right, so we're going to start out with uh, John Henry Johnson of the Rangers. And this is what the backs of the cards look like. This was one of my, uh, when I was a kid at least, I, I, I always liked these cards. I used to get really excited when, uh, when we would go to the store and get some. Steve Dillard, Dan Schatzeter, Ron Reed. Ron Reed. The thing I remember about him is that he had like a size like 17 shoe or something like that. He had very big feet. Uh, Baylor Moore, Tony Salada, Sergio Ferrar, Elliot Maddox. And here is our game piece. Hmm. What could you win on here? You could win a, a glove, a bat, a ball, or a G baseball guidebook, whatever that was. All right, so we have Barry's dad here, Mr. Bobby Bonds, Ted Martinez, Bill Castro, Dave Revering, Fred Stanley, Jim Sundberg, and Dan Briggs. So nothing of really any consequence in that pack there, so we'll move on to our next one. So we have Jim Norris, Bob Forsh, Steve Mingori, Jim Palmer. There's a nice one. It's got a little bit of uh, ink run on the side there, but uh, actually on the top too. But good looking card. All right, so we have our first Hall of Famer. I was a big fan of Jim Palmer. Dick Drago, Glenn Borgman, Danny Walling, Kip Young, and we got another hit to win card here. And Mr. Lee Mazzilli, who at this point here was like a rising star. Timing of it was pretty good. The Mets, uh, I may have mentioned this in a previous video, they, uh, when they traded him, they, uh, they got Ron Darling. So that uh, ended up working out pretty well, considering uh, Lee ended up coming back and playing with the Mets and helping them win the World Series in 86. All right, so we got Steve Nicosia, Jim Beatty, Jeff Burrows, George Orta, Pete Vukovic, and a Cardinals Future Stars card. All right, so we got one pack left here. Go 
Joe managed to survive. All right, so we have Ed Figueroa, Jamie Quirk, Bucky Dent. I always liked this card when I was a kid for some reason. I don't know if it was like the color or the shot, but I remember being real excited when I got this card. Jim Beatty again, Frank Riccelli, Dave Parker, that's a nice card. That's a super nice card. He's not in the Hall of Fame. He could very well be in the Hall of Fame because he had a stellar career. That's a really nice looking card there. All right, and we got a card of Yogi's son, Mr. Dale Barra, Claudel Washington. Is this after the Mets? No, this is before the Mets. Okay, with a lot of, uh, a lot of wax on the back there. Raleigh Fingers, this is another really nice card. Although it looks like there's, yeah, there's a little bit of edge damage on it. It's too bad, it's centered pretty well. Yeah, it's damaged on the back there, you can see that. Yeah, well. Uh, what do we got here? We got Mike Cubbage, Jerry Morales, Mike Heath, Phil Huffman, Mike Torres, and Rich Dower. So, no Ricky Henderson. But we found a few nice ones. The Raleigh Fingers, unfortunately, does have some physical damage to it. But this is a, this is a really nice, really nice Dave Parker car. It's a good shot. And Jim Palmer, our second Hall of Famer that we found there. All right, so that was uh, some packs from 1980 baseball. Um, like I said, we didn't find the Ricky Henderson, but we found a few nice cards, and uh, it's always fun going back and uh, opening these old cards. Um, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this was one of the cards as a kid that I just loved. So, um, in any event, I would like to uh, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, coming up on our uh, weekend way back, we're, uh, we're definitely going to do some baseball since the uh, baseball season um, started today. Today is opening day. So, uh, so not started, is starting today, is opening day. So uh, we look forward to uh, uh, bringing you something baseball related, baseball related with our box break this weekend. Uh, so we will uh, see you then. Enjoy uh, the new season. And um, thank you so much for watching. Take care.